All right, folks, what do we have here? I'm going to give a brief overview. Brief. Not too uh, informative, probably. We've got the Ruger Wrangler 22. Okay. Relatively cheap. Little 22 single action revolver. This is comparable to the Heritage Rough Rider series. Might be just a hair more pricey. Um, shootability wise, I've shot both of them and they shoot about the same for me. Okay. Uh, let's just be honest. I'm not going to call this a nail driver. This is not the most accurate 22 in the world. All right, uh, neither is a Heritage Rough Rider. There might be people out there that can shoot the heck out of them and make them nail drivers, but if you're an ordinary Joe Schmo, like myself with basic firearm skills, uh, it's just gonna be a fun plinker. Um, would I take this thing squirrel hunting? Uh, that squirrel had better be in the tree right next to you, directly up in front of you. Uh, several trees down, I think you're going to have a hard time shooting it. It's not a it's not a Ruger Mark IV with a fancy red dot on it. Okay, so fun, yes, very fun. Set some cans up, get a couple buddies, set some cans up, uh, and have a shooting competition with them. Okay, it's a cheap gun, fairly cheap, under $200, and I've been shooting these right here, these Remington 22 Golden Bullet. It might be cheaper out there, but this is this is what I had access to. I bought me about three boxes of this, uh, 300 rounds for like 18 bucks. So that'll give you some good shooting. Okay fun stuff. Uh, this thing is fairly heavy for what it is. It feels good in the hand. It feels solid. It feels nice and heavy. Nice and smooth. There are no rounds in here. That feels, that makes you think you're a cowboy doing that right there. Okay. Now the, the finish on this, there was some blemishes on here when I got this. If we can see that right there on the Cerakoting. Um, I'm not worried about that. Okay, like I said, this is going to end up being a uh, truck gun, fishing box gun. You're going out to the woods for whatever gun. Uh, so I'm not really worried about uh, scratching it up. Um, one thing, when I first got this thing, which was a couple days ago, I loaded it up and I got the cylinder stuck. I could not get that cylinder out. I couldn't get it to spin. Uh, I had to do everything I could to get it out because the casings, the uh, 22 bolts I had in there were sticking past the uh, cylinder here and we're not allowing it to turn. So I had a heck of a time getting that out. Um, just through some basic shooting, I took a little piece of sandpaper and filed just a hair smidge down on the actual gun frame itself. Uh, it's doing a lot better now. After about, so far I've probably put almost uh, 120 rounds through it. Now it, uh, 
will cycle nicely. Won't get hung up, all right? So you may run into that first time you put something in there, uh, make sure it'll spin freely. You undo the, uh, I'll call it a feed ramp, but whatever. Make sure that cylinder will spin freely because uh, if you get to a point where there's a round and you go like that, uh, it's hard to get out. Okay, that had me a little concerned when I first got it going. I was like, oh man, I picked up a dud. But Wrangler 22 long rifle, Ruger Wrangler 22 long rifle ammo. Uh, is it a Nell driver? Not for me, it's not, but it is still fun to shoot and inexpensive to shoot. So this would be a good one for the kids to learn on. Doesn't kick at all. You still need earplugs. It's still a little loud, but not as loud as a big gun, you know, as a 44 Magnum. Um, so <clears throat> if you're looking for cheap and fun, have a look at the Ruger Wrangler 22. Comes in three different colors. I got the burnt bronze. Comes in a, uh, a black and I think a silver. All of them are Cerakoted. But uh, this is the one I wanted. I think it looks real good. Okay. Check it out. I like it.